Three weeks after a science experiment went terribly wrong, a Denver teacher's out of a job. We were the first to tell you about this letter sent to parents at Strive Academy Charter School, letting them know that teacher is fired. Well, now new at six, we're learning more about one student still in the hospital. Now it's three weeks after this accident. Our Lindsay Watts talking with Dominic Vargas family and Lindsay, he is still in the ICU. Yeah, more than three weeks later, Anne, 16 year old Dominic has serious burns to his upper body. His family has stayed by his side the entire time he's been in the hospital. And they tell me tonight his recovery is going to be a very long one. It is impacting my brother's life and it will impact, impact his life for the rest of his life. He's very athletic, uh, plays football, and uh, this is going to play a big part in where he's going in life. For Dominic Vargas, everything changed. Fireball hit him from his chest up. In an instant. His face, his neck, his chest, his arms, and his legs were burned. A chemistry experiment at this high school that should have never happened. That day, um, it was shocking. The chemical safety board found the teacher wasn't properly trained and shouldn't have been lighting so much methanol on fire. It was just eye-opening to see what, what, uh, what this teacher was doing in that class. Johnny Vargas says his brother is still critical, but getting better by the day. After several surgeries, he may be coming home within two weeks. His state of mind is positive. Um, he has his days where he's down on himself. Um, but, you know, his friends come along and they help him out. As for first year teacher Daniel Powell, who caused the accident. I heard that they got a letter. Um, I'm going to let that letter speak for itself. Um, our business is not with what the teacher is doing or what he's up against. It's more about our brother. That's our business. And no comment tonight from Strive Academy. A spokesperson says it's because several investigations are still underway. The charter schools are still suspending all science lab activity, and I'm told they're going to be bringing in an independent company to review safety procedures. Reporting live, Lindsay Watt, 7 News. Thanks, Lindsay. Dominic's family has set up a GoFundMe site, gathering donations to help pay for his medical bills. I just checked that site within the last hour. So far, more than $8,000 have been raised. That is still about two grand below the goal, which is $10,000. They're also asking for your prayers.